Hi everybody, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the different kind of face mask. This, you need the template, so um, first thing you need to do is you get the piece of paper, the Xerox paper, a and half by 11. Um, we're going to use a full length of the um, 11 inch here. So which side here, we need four and a half inch. So four and a half inch by 11. First, we're going to make a template and then after that, you can, um, you, when you have a template, you can make your own face mask. So after you cut four and a half and this full length, you leave it there. The, the regular zero paper that you use to copy stuff. After you cut, you're going to fold it in half. This is the easiest way. Less headache for everyone. So after you, you fold it in half, this way, you're going to fold the other half. Like, one more time in the long way. Like this. Okay, you see this? So you want this side, the full side, you want to face to you. So from here to here, on this side, you're going to measure half an inch. You're going to mark half an inch. And then from here, from here to here, you need two inch. So it's only two inch, okay? So you go on to mark the land right there. Okay. So I want you to connect this side to this side, but make sure. So let me just help a little bit here. So I'm going to go about from this land to here. I'm going to go up about three inch. Just like that. I'm marking about three inch here to three inch from here to here that three inch and now I'm going to make this land a little bit curved okay you see this one I'm get the ruler I'm gonna go I went straight up here about three inch then I stop right there okay and now I'm going to make sure this gonna round a little bit not to be like curved I mean straight like that. So make sure you get the pen and then you go on to make like a little bit curve, not straight. Remember on the full line right here. On the full line here. With the paper with the full line up to here. You don't you go like this, you go straight out like that. You don't want to go down curve. Because when you go down curve, when you cut it's like a hard shape. Right there. So you're going to go straight up to here, then go down curve a little bit. Make sure it round a little bit here. Just get the pencil, iron pen, whatever, and it just go a little bit. You know, just round it up a little bit here. Okay, now you have it. You have something like this. Okay. And now you're going to get the scissor. You're going to cut this out. This is your template that you're going to make your mask. If you like it, you use it to make more. Remember, go straight out, not curl down. Because when you curl down, when you cut it out, it's going to have a hard shape right there. So now when you open it, you have your own template right here. So this is it. Okay, now I'm going to show you what to do next. So I have the deer here. So make sure if you have a fabric that the picture, grew, you know, it doesn't matter what size. But if you have a picture like this, you have to make sure that the um, when you cut the fabric, the picture of the deer was standing, you know, standing. You don't want to cut this way because when you when you wear it, you don't want to wear like this. Your mask going to be like this. Okay, so you want to cut this way. So when you wear, 
you can see the deer or the tree is standing up like that okay so now i'm going to fold a fabric like this and i'm going to fold it in half and i'm going to trace the line so we can cut it out so now i'm going to go with the pen i'm going to trace the line all the way like this now you can cut this line out you can cut the fabric out Okay, everyone, now you can go ahead and cut four of these. I cut the first one for you to see. This is the, this is one. You're going to cut three more of these. Okay, go ahead and cut three more. So now when you have four pieces together, I like you to take the, the, wow, the two piece you're going to mark one inch. for both ends and you're going to do two of them for one inch so when you mark the one inch for those two only two that you do one inch you're going to fold it you're going to fold it in and then you press it with your finger and then the other side so one in that you mark right here you're gonna fold it and then you press and then you put it on the side like that we're gonna iron it later so one in this right here you're going to fold pull it down and same thing to the other side this is one inch that we mark we're going to bring it up to here and press okay now we're going to fold it in half like this you go on to the same thing to the other one you're gonna place it in the fabric just lie nicely together and then you start sewing it in after you put it on together like this place another one on top of it now you're going to sew you're going to sew the lie you're going to sew the lie everything in place you're going to lift up all of them in your hand like this and then you place it in the pen do it just to hold every piece in place so you can sew And this line too. Just make sure when you, you just want to make sure you open it, you look inside, nothing move. And then you can just put the pen here and then you just keep everything in place. Okay, so now this, uh, this is the easy part. You go on to sew. You have the sewing machine and you want to use the sewing machine, you go on to use the same thing that I'm, I'm doing right now, but you la you go on to sew this line all the way to the end this side too all the way to the end you're going to sew it in okay so go ahead if you use a sewing machine i am going to do by hand hand sew so let's go up a quarter up and in
this is a uh, this is I I don't know but it's so on the law the straight line very easy everyone um, if you if you sold a long time ago and you don't sell anymore and you want to get back this is the good one uh, the good mass that you can practice go up to the end right here and I'm going to go through make the loop you see the loop right here? I'm going to put the dress and needle in there and they pull. And I do one more time and that's it. Very simple. And now I'm done. Make sure I have my iron on. So now I'm going inside out. You're gonna push a few. And if you, it is hard for you, you can get the pencil. Or, you know, pencil in the back. Don't use a sharp side, but use a, use the other end of the pencil and try to push a little bit. You can just put the fill and then you can just get your hand here and then pull. Get all these out. Okay, so now you get the iron, you're going to iron it. Make sure you iron this line to leg together. i show you. So you iron this together, line like this. Very simple, this line. This one going to face in the front. And now for this one right here, what you need to do, the extra lane over here, you're going to fold it down to here. So the first one touching that one, and then just like this, the first one touching this lane right here, and then fold down to here, just like this. You see that everyone? See how I fold one lane? One time touching, one time touching here, and the other time just roll one more time and it go right here. And when you do, because I'm holding it up for you to see, but when you fold it, you make sure this two line right here is closed together. Close, pull it over there. So when you're happy with the way it is. You can get the um, clip or whatever. A pair, uh, um, I'm gonna use the clip there and I'm going to the other side. Other side doing the same thing. You see the extra lane right here? You're going to fold it in. First time it is touching right here. You see it touching right there. One more time. You're going to fold this right here. And there you go. Okay, now you're going to sew that in. You only get the little bit of the fabric on this this one, okay? Do not go too hard, too hard down to here because this is the, one, the side that you're wearing to face out. And you don't need to go that, to go out to that one. So just hold it like this, and then slide your needle this way. Go this way. Don't go this way. Cause if you go in this way, your your dress look nice and neat. If you go straight up, it look really bulky. So just get a little bit fabric on here, on this one right here, and then go up to here. You see. I just get a little bit of the fabric right in here. Okay, you see that right there? I'm going to pull the dress. 
and I'm going to do the same thing. You see now my dress is coming down that way. I'm going to go this like this. Okay. Just as close as you can close to the side right this. And pull. Everyone who watching my video and it's been nice comment and thing like that. I really appreciate your support and sometimes you know like those people who's really rude on the comment I really don't pay attention to. Um because first I feel like the the video are not for them. Second, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just very lucky to have the all the people who watching the video and be nice to me and give me a good comment, and uh, that show me the biggest support and motivate me to do more. So now I'm going to take this clip out. And if you like my video, please don't forget to thumb up and subscribe to our channel. I have a lot of people asking me how to um, do a lot of stuff, not face map. Um, so I try to do more face map to help people out. When you make face mask for a kid, you make sure the kid have to be over three years old. Under three years old, they cannot wear face mask. So you take about, I would say you want to cut about an inch and a half. So one inch and a half, you can just estimate when you look at it. You don't need the ruler, but if you do, it's fine too. So one inch and a half, you're going to cut out two of them. And I'm going to show you how to um, make the ear loop through from the uh, pantyhole. So you need two. That's one. This is easy. If you don't, if if it loose, you can just tie, you know, tie it back on. It's easier than the elastic, and also it's really good in your ear. Now, when you cut it, you go on to pull, and you go on to stretch it out. You know, pantyhole is very stretchy. So you pull. Okay. And pull. Very easy to use this. You use it this time and you let me know how you feel. So now you go on to put the safety pin through this. Like this, okay. You're going to go through this pocket right here. You go to the other side. Okay. So now when it go to the other side, what I do, I'm going to go under. You go inside here, the other side. Make sure you always have to leave your finger right here and you hold on to the dread because it have no, no support there. So you need your hand to hold on to the thread. And then you can separate this thread in half. So you can see this. You can separate them too. Because the knot will hold it. So now you pull. You see? Now you have that. You're going to do a few times. You go to the other side. Your hand have to hold on to the thread. If you don't, it's gonna go keep going and then you lose it. So put your needle inside the loop and pull. One more time. Put the behind there. Hold on to the thread. You see the loop? Put your needle in there and pull. Now that's the end. You're going to, after you do three times, you're gonna go through. Get your needle, go through the pantyhole. 
you see you have to hold your hand here because you don't want to pull and then if you're losing that loop you see the loop you get your needle go through it pull you do one more time you can do more if you don't if you don't think that you you do enough and then you can do more and more until you think it's good and stable and then stop so then that's it i'm done i'm gonna cut this see how pretty that is and now it's not pretty this so i'm going to pull so i'm gonna hide that knot that the one that we did okay and then fix this there you go you have your own loop inexpensive very comfortable and i will show you and this is just the inside when you wear it you can plate the tissue in there if you like or the filter whatever filter you use and this is facing the front how pretty that is and this is the what do you call this the ear loop so simple easy face mask for everyone to do thank you for making this with me please subscribe to your channel if you like my video thank you so much every every face mask i try it before i show you thank you so everyone this is the one that you make with me so i'm going to wear this is a panty hole on the side here so i'm gonna wear it and you're going to see so first you're going to open you can place the filter inside here if you like and then you're going to place into your face see here you go going to this is the panty hole just put right in your ear so comfortable and soft and this side also i'm going to put it up and then you're going to fix it around until you're happy and then you're good to go this style is already half the thing here so it's easy for you to breathe through my face right now let me tell you if you want it to stand like this like a no bridge to your nose you can get a piece of scott tape or the, um, the tape you can place behind this you can place right behind here i'll show you i'll take it out i'll show you so right here you think it's going like right inside here you think this is going to be on your nose then you place the tape right on top of it so that will hold the um, the fabric a little bit thicker you know it just hold right on here right in the middle of where you want to put on your nose i'm gonna I'm gonna put it on. No. Wear a mask like you put on a makeup, I think now. It's like the routine when you get out of the house. Now so so when you have a tape, it's gonna stay like that. So if you wanna add a little scot tape here, this tape right here. This is this the the type of the tape that I use. Okay. So if you wanna use that, just cut a piece and put right in the middle. And then you wear and then the the the, the mask gonna stand like that for you the whole entire time <laughs> that's the trick if you want to do that so comfortable so put the little tape in here i i would say put a little tape in where the nose is so that way you don't have to spend money to buy a no bridge and this is easy when you're done you can just take the tape out and you're gonna wash the face mask um and then the next time you wear it, you can put another tape there and you're good to go. So this bottom right here, you can just take it out and it cover your neck right here nicely. The panty hole, so smooth. Um, so smooth for your ear. Everything so perfect. Everyone, if you make one and it's working, I love people give me feedback and say that they try and it work. Make my day. I'm so happy so happy for the people who try because you know what every face mat i put it up here i already try and it work and please stay safe and take care everyone thank you so much